Abrams coming around the, the side. T62 sees him, and he actually gets a shot off. T62. I mean, you can still ammo rack. Just hit your shots, and you can have a chance at T62. T62 goes down. Abrams saves it, but hold on. Oh, no. He's just getting swarmed by anti-tank grenades. Anti-tank grenades just... I oh, they go down! Unbelievable! Are you kidding? They just got sworn by anti-tank grenades. Infantry mopping up the Abrams. Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of Find the Sky, where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down. And this one, we've got the U.S. Marine Corps up against the insurgents on Fallujah. This is Fallujah Invasion V3, and the last time we did a Fallujah Invasion, it was probably one of the most fun times I've had casting an Eye in the Sky. That was, I think, over a year ago, and oh my goodness, we need to do more of these, because this one, as you can see from the length of the video, was an absolutely amazing round. Attackers, defenders, we have fantastic individual plays, great squad leading plays, vehicle support, infantry moving and flanking. It, everything you could ask for in squad happened in this game, and I just, I can't say anything. I'm gonna spoil it, I can't. So sit back, relax, and please keep commenting what you want to see. Seriously, down in the comments, drop a map, faction, game mode, whatever, because I'm gonna take more of y'all's suggestions since this one was just so damn good. If you like the video, do also give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want more of this type of stuff. And don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidog or here on YouTube. Yes, on days that I am not uploading videos, I am dual streaming on both platforms. So pick your platform of choice and I'll see you there. But that's enough of me. This is an amazing video. So grab a snack, get a drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Until next time, peace. All right, Eye in the Sky, and this is Fallujah, uh, Fallujah Invasion B3. This is uh, the, well, I asked you guys, all right, if you guys are just watching this on YouTube, uh, this is actually being streamed on YouTube and Twitch right now, and you guys voted. A lot of y'all in the comments have been saying you wanted some CQB action, so... Uh, Fallujah was the pick for the map, but also there's two different invasion layers we're looking at. Uh, we're looking for the northern main, uh, where the USMC pushes from the main road in, or the bridge um, attack. And so you guys are so interactive and you voted for the bridge attack. So the USMC pushing from the western uh, coast here. The coast? Is this a coast? I mean, kind of. Uh, the western uh, bridge here. Uh, they are going to have a two, uh, sorry, two uh, Abrams from the get-go, the M1A ones, uh, two AAVPs. Uh, these are the GL uh, AAVPs with the 50 cals as well. Uh, two LAV25s, uh, four Humvees, uh, two with the 50 cals, and then one with a 50 cal remote weapon system, a couple transports, and then three AAVC Logi vehicles. So, a lot. Thankfully, they do have some amphibious uh, capabilities. Um, T-62 for the insurgents, a bunch of techies, uh, some logies, uh, SPG armored as well, and then a rocket techie. Over to Cemetery, Crossroads, Stronghold, Commercial District, North, Bazaar, Market, and then Main, Way Out East. But that is it. Enough of me. Just in time for the rollout. I, I didn't understand too much of it. We're talking about the hub on C-6. And Over command is trying to get set up for it. We'll see if they actually. Am I getting the hap? Or is well... command? Are you getting it? Command is on it. Got it. We have every bridge. Oh, hold on a second. They're actually going to go across Marine, fording the river. Commander, let me they have bridges, but they don't want to use the bridges. Oh, Gotta take advantage of their amphibious capabilities. And AVP. Just dunking first. Oh, so we're going across the bridge. Popping that drive smoke as well. And now 50 cal suppression. Oh, and they actually knock out Insurgent Techie, the first one to pop. And there you go. Maybe SVG's dead. Did he blow it up? 
Abrams as well. Just sending rounds right over the AAV. Good drive smoke. First AAV is drive smoking the entire hole. Oh, a little close. Oh, RPG. North. Oh, wait, no, not RPG. He's throwing anti tank grenades. Anti tank grenades from the bushes. The ambush, you can see his little legs, his khakis. Stick it out. He's throwing another one. Oh no, a Marine gets run over by the AAV as well. Oh, a second Marine run over by the AAV. A little chaotic here. Infantry have no idea that there is still one insurgent just in the bush. And he's gonna crawl out. He might actually get the ambush and he does. PPSH gets one. A second one back around the AAV. He's trying to get eyes on with the peak PPSH. And what a shot, clutch up by the Marine, able to just hold on. AAV is gonna stay up and he's gonna get his uh, battle buddy up as well. Marines storming across the river and they finally have a little foothold. Two AAV AAVs up, drive smoke up as one's gonna RTB and rearm and repair. Infantry are up and in. Kai leading the way, you see Spork on the roof and never mind, he is dead on the roof. Pushing on in. This is a very, very... I, it's not a beachhead, but I want to call it a beachhead. It's just such a good little spearhead, maybe. I don't know. Whatever they just did. The, this... Uh, like, so many times in squad, you have uh, players, they overthink it. They want to do crazy flanks. They want to do something crazy and, and cheeky. And If you just get a whole bunch of people and vehicles all in one spot, you can make something happen, right? SKD, Phyline, tossing a grenade, and he's got a, a squad. Oh, no, that's an AAV that's on its side. I didn't even notice. Cross 7 goes down. And now he's going with the PPSH as well. Jumping in full autos, one. Oh, no, this is chaotic. This is not really how you want to be if you're a Marine right now. PPSH, is he going to get the shot? Not just quite barely crawling away, the insurgent. And this is just chaos over here. Uh, I wish I could flip it. Blood, Nico, Oleg goes down, Swarly and Barry. You got Uted. 541 Dex trying to right there. AV, and now you have a T62. It's just firing into the side of this AV. And that is a full infantry squad lost on the objective, south side of the objective. Oh, hold on, there's no T-62 yet. It was a tandem round from earlier. T-62 probably spawning in in uh, five or 10 minutes. But the south side is gonna be a no-go for the Marines. It's all up to this initial spearhead across the center river, and it is going well. IB Firecat and CRISPR, the insurgents up on the uh, buildings trying to prevent Marines from going up. Look at this! I love it! Hey, this is how you play squad, guys. You got infantry squad. You got APC covering. You got Marines. Okay, I don't like the spacing. All right, I don't like the spacing. A little too clustered. But you have infantry with vehicles, close quarters, supporting each other. You even got one high. I mean, this is incredible. Oh, RPG just barely misses the Marine up on the balcony. And now Dova Creed, they've pushed into the second crop of buildings, but you can see the whole red wave coming back over from the insurgents. This is the insurgent radio, this hourglass shape. Uh, on the other side of the cemetery. So insurgents have the cemetery, Marines. Firecat does go down, so they have completely secured it. Firecat was kind of in the middle there. Dova Creed, Avgust, uh, NF Scars, Uted, Major Disappointment, all trying to hold this. And if they can get just another vehicle up for support, the vehicle and infantry push is what you're going to need to clear out Fallujah. 166 tickets already, so it is an infantry grind. Oh, no, hold on! Oh man, Zodin. Oh wait, no, not Zodin. It's, just, it's like the gamer. You know, gamer like XX Odin's son. <laughs> ZZ Odin's son. All right, Odin. 
with a full auto clears it and now you have a rocket pod rocket strike on the marine push and this is a huge man it was not concentrated at all i think he just left click and then moved left and right pushed over an entire area i don't think it got a single person just too many buildings for the marines to uh, hide in paypal and now camel the insurgents pushing in they're trying to start to pinch the marines and push them out but hold on a second Now you have Marine Humvees pushing in and they're trying to clear out the alleys. Marines trying to get a little bit of an angle. There's a techie right in front of them. Humvee needs to hang a left and there's going to be a Lodgy. There it is opens up and that's going to be a huge win oh kill the lodgy though insurgents swarming all over and you see the other 50 opens up humvee pushes right in and needs to be careful these insurgents all next to him one insurgent kills the gunner another marine dismounts and he is in the half rpg into the side of the humvee humvee needs to be careful second humvee coming in Insurgents just pouring right back where that Humvee pushed in. RPG again into the side of it. Wilson, last man, and he does. Wilson knocks out two Marines. Bubbles is the only one up left on the ground. And an RPG again. Humvees just taking RPG after RPG. Wilson just holding the line. Sweet Hagrid goes down. Bubbles goes down. It's only Razgris, and he goes down. What a play by the Insurgents. Wilson holding the line in the half. RPGs just into the Humvees. And there you go. That is a full Humvee squad wipe. Two Humvees, entire squad. GG's to the insurgents. That was absolute chaos and they pulled it off. Could have sworn the Marines were going to get off, dismount, and actually hold that little building. But that is going to be a lot of tickets lost. What a play, and it is now back over here, and you can see just how costly it's going to be. 133 tickets now to 81. I'm getting a UAV up over point. And this is, you need more of this if you're the Marines. Bronco yeah, Baker yeah, and a sphincter says what? God damn it. Really? Why do you name yourselves these things? Fritz pushing in, and he doesn't get either one. But a miss <laughs> God damn it. I swear, you guys. Grenade from but a miss Prime. Tosses into the top of the AAV. Camel knocks out Champ Deg. Keep, grenade, keep popping off. Another grenade over the top from Lieutenant Dredge. And Camel goes down. Good grenade to clear it. Jarg on the other side. It, insurgents are just swarming and spilling out all over this cemetery. Absolute chaos. And now you see the, or I guess you hear rather, the Humvees just pop from earlier. Oh, what a GL! Jarg takes a 40 mic straight to the chest. RPG from Rango just misses. Bronco Baker should get eyes on. There you go. I mean, this is how you want to set up your base of fire there. Look at the MG, or not MG, rather. Look at the 40 mic just laying into that hab. And insurgents, they are still going to try to last stand it one more time. You can see Rawhide, Kobayashi, Wilson, Graveler, Wilson making that huge play earlier with the grenade, the underhand grenade. From Miami, Miami Wolf, Miami Wolf. Oh my goodness! Miami had the jump, got the burst, but missed. Rawhide pulls it out again, and now you got Mick Expert G just sprinting in with a pistol. Grenade being tossed in, and that might bank well. Oh, and it hits the roof. Unfortunately, just didn't drop. Mike Expert G trying to climb up way high. Fritz now running in full auto. Or burst rather, and he clears it! What a clear! 
Fritz inside the half, bandaging up, needs to stay up because Mick is helping him overrun it. And here it goes, Marines pouring in. They're overrunning the half, but no, a grenade knocks him out. Here it is, Jarred with the underhand grenades, just killing as many as they keep pouring in. Two Marines in, two Marines dead. A couple more now trying to get back in as well. Could it be another good last stand? We'll have to see, because now you have the Marine armor column pushing in. Abrams trying to just hold, allow the infantry to overrun that hab. This is the capture area, by the way, this, this, uh oh, airstrike. That's actually, that worked. Jarg GE5J. Oh my goodness, they had their own personal airstrike and these were the insurgents on the other side of the berm that were keeping a lot of the team for the Marines to push in. So Jargon GE5J gets a, a nice little welcome package by an F-18 Hornet. Oh, and hold on a second. Judge Joe Brown with the IED drone and OWI, where are my graphics? I want explosions! God damn, that would have been so cool if we could have seen it. <laughs> but instead, the Abrams just disappears. That's what it, that's what, this is what uh, explosions happen, guys. Um, IED drone uh, popped. It does. It didn't look like that exploded, but the Abrams is dead. Uh, OWI says no to explosions. Um, just to, so I'm not insane. I have this on full, right? I have cinematic particle effects on, and I still can't even see an explosion. OWI, please. 94 tickets, though. Let's see. It is uh, a third of the way cap. So, Marines, in Invasion, you want to spend around 100 tickets a cap. So... The big problem, though, is Marines lost a lot of vehicles, and losing that uh, one of their Abrams is no bueno. And the Hab is overrun. Don't call it a comeback, Insurgents. I don't know if they'll have enough time. It really depends. If you're able to get a Mortar Barrage, Insurgents might be able to push in. But there's, if we look at the uh, the block by block, right? I uh, post ICO squad. When you come into uh, close quarters and urban environments, it's very hard to just root out a team from a building. So it might take him a second. I don't know. Odin, son's just rolling right in. Nope, there he goes. Uh, yeah, so I think the cap will be fine. Yep, cap is safe. Insurgents. Now, the good thing is the next cap is right here. This zone right here. What is it called? Crossroads Stronghold. A hundred more tickets for the Marines, but Crosshold Stronghold, they now have to push through this infantry from uh, the insurgents. So, Hab, I think, was also overrun earlier. Yeah, Hab is overrun. This is the insurgent radio that we're looking at. They had an insurgent hab as well. Insurgents are just trying to re-secure that area. Got it. Is it on your move, Mark? Enemy tank marked on the... Enemy tank marked accurate. Got it. T-62 rolling down Main Street right now. It's in that area. And there is a lot of garbage in the road for this T-62. Thankfully, he has a lot of friendlies ahead of him. You can see all the red between him I'm and sure the enemy. Hey, is that an... Uh, I think that's an LAV. LAV is actually... I'm not quite sure why he's just shooting at the road. But LAV needs to not go down this main road because he doesn't want to get popped by this T-62. Not the strongest of tanks, but Talking up against light armor, T-62 can absolutely shred it. And he's going to pop out and nearly says hi to an LAV. Or not LAV, an AAV. Tandem round actually smacks him. 
there you go, Brit. And it was Bubbles from the backside actually ambush the T62. T62 needs to go around, and honestly, there's just too much infantry around. T62 needs to be careful. He thought it was safe, but Nightmare now as well. He does get mowed down by a machine gun. But the T62 is lower than uh, lower than half health. And now the Abrams. Uh, give me a good mark for tank, please. Abrams is going to just do one shot. Easy. T62 isn't dead yet. He's got a drive smoke or something. One more shot and the Abrams has him. And he misses. The T62 tracks the Abrams. He's not out of the woods yet. And there it goes. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe they didn't drive smoke. T62 had that. They did zero smoke, zero evasive maneuvering. And they still nearly won. Unbelievable. T62 crew might want to might want that one back, to be honest. Feline now throwing some AT grenades. And he's tossing them right into the rear of that tank. Scob now trying to save his armor. Oh, and he gets smoked. SKD. This Abrams is actually hurting. Anti-tank grenades right into that soft engine compartment. Lightly armored. And now you're going to have just like the call to beacons, like the bat signal go up for insurgents. Tank is tracked in the city. You need RPGs on that stat. Non-combatant. Way up north. He's right up here with the RPG. Going to try to get it. A shot on this. Abrams is now going to move. And insurgents aren't able to take advantage of it. Abrams can't stay in play, though. I'm not sure why, why he's not uh, just getting out of here already. And it looks like... Oh, hold on a second. What's up? He's trying to throw the grenade. Oh, it just <laughs> almost <laughs> tried to Kobe it and just a little short. LAV crew meets them as well, and they're going to be okay. SPG, though, they don't want to take any chances. Let that SPG uh, pop. And there you go. Uh, some some kind of crazy moments going on all throughout the city and another block where it looks like almost everyone is dead infantry squad for the marines ran into two insurgents and the insurgents have come out on it jarg i feel like we've called jarg out so many times making big plays and he knocks out the infantry squad skt sk sk words are hard skd uh with them and that is a huge play bubbles with the full auto or i guess the burst fire mopping them up but i mean you might not get all these tickets because it, they are going to try to i think wait for a medic but you are stalling the infantry uh, from pushing in and look at how far they are from the cap this is the cap zone guys they are blocks away infantry they're, they're being uh, flexible they're pushing out they're pushing back in they're they're creating space they're attacking out, knocking out an infantry squad, or pushing a vehicle, then falling back near their uh, their hab area, near their um, capture zone. So it's pretty good. The, the one test is going to be this fob. This uh, blue... What is it? I keep forgetting what it's called. Blue um, hourglass shape. That's the new radio. And let's see, is there hab right next to radio as well? Uh, pretty much... So, new attack fob, they're trying to get across the road into the capture zone. And it is once again just being a, ooh, speaking of, mine. Charles, what was he in? 
Not sure what popped, but one vehicle does go down. Looked like a techie, to be honest. But insurgents... I'm not, they need to flex right back to the point. Look at, like, if you look on the map, I could deploy a and by the if we look at the top-down view as well, like, way above here, there's actually not that many insurgents right now in the FOB and in the, uh, the capture area. Enough Marines are starting to push through the buildings. It's going to be very hard for insurgents to get right back in that zone. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Marines pretty much capture this right from under the insurgents' nose. You also have another squad linking up on the other side. Insurgents, they're getting a bit scattered. But a good RPG. Chugi with a two-piece frag grenade. Uh, or frag RPG from uh, pretty much 100 meters away. Hey, full squad east, uh, squad nine. Gom, what is he doing? Not sure what this man's doing. Is this an IED bike? I think he's just on a joyride, to be honest. Yeah, he's just on a joyride trying to get around. <laughs> and Crossroads isn't being captured yet. Hab is now overrun. This is the Marine Hab that's overrun. Hold on a second. Firecat and Maverick Wilson. Wilson again with some big plays. The HAB is overrun. It's going to be... It's about to be... Cleared out right now, but Marines are being pushed in their own spawn. They're pushing our uh, southern HAB from the east. HAB is just coming up off being overrun, and insurgents... They're just incredibly scattered. It doesn't look like the whole team is here. There's a lot of there's a lot of the team on other objectives right now. You also have a team that's super fobbing market, it looks like. Squad four. I'm gonna be careful with tickets on this push. 127 tickets. Speaking of tickets, the 625. The insurgents have also lost a lot of tickets. One minute I have artillery. I'm gonna call artillery in one minute. Insurgents just trying to push this habit as kind of like their only hope at the moment. And Marines are doing well. They are slowing it down a bit. There's no need to rush. Get your infantry up, heal them up, and then push out. We're going to see them both run into each other here. Kobayashi, the first one to go down. And Peekaboo... Oh, they trade! Wilson up, and hold on, you got right behind him, you got an insurgent medic. Oh, and he's gonna get the medic! And they trade too! Oh no, it's a catastrophe for the insurgent squad! They had the beat on him, but this, their shots are failing. Uh-oh. Full auto, and can he get around the corner? And he can! He gets a two-piece! Marked. Little death alley here. Another insurgent's gonna get smoked. Oh, he's out of ammo. He's left to his pistol and he does. What a clutch. The click of doom with the hot swap to the pistol and Marines secure the corner. What a fight. Thanks. Yes. Position is Jam she the art never mind I was gonna say might live up to his name but he gets absolutely blasted by a 50 cal and wow what a play that might be a game saving play because insurgents they're few and far between right now they don't have a spawn insurgent this is this is a a marine fob on the south of stronghold this is a marine fob that we're staring at insurgents have no more spawn points but Odin, he's on one. As my voice cracks, this game is making me go through my fifth puberty. I'm gonna lose my voice by the end of it. Humvee knocks out a Lodgy. 
on the south side of the point. And insurgents are going to lose the point. Crazy. This might be a new rally. It is a rally. Cats, Kobayashi, Drog, and Powers coming in. Honestly, at this point, I'm not saying insurgents are throwing. I think that's that's not appropriate. But they are they are letting their foot up off the gas, if that makes any sense. Marines have been on the ropes, and insurgents, for whatever reason, uh, they they just aren't pushing it. They're not rebuilding fobs. They're not defending their fobs, and they're choosing to defend the other points instead of the currently active one. Uh, insurgents ha do have this radio on bleed. We're going to leave the outlines out. Oh, RPG. That got him. They're saying that got him. I hope they still go right, for a go. grenade or something. Beat insurgents down. holding the left corner. Left. Holding left. One grenade out. Oh, the stairway is clear. The grenade going to pop him. Nope, it's on the other side in the trade. Insurgents do trade with the Marines. And the LAB knocks out one as well. One insurgent left. Did, did he not? Did he just pull out his knife? Just could take you down. Oh, he's going in the IED. The objective has he blew up the IED. He blew up himself once again. Squad just decided to turn off. Squad one, squad nine. All of our explosions. And I don't know. That was a good play. He suicided himself with the IED in order to kill any infantry that was pushing him. And, oh, the radio does bleed out. Maybe it is a big brain play. Radio bleeds out. He goes down with the ship and takes out a bunch of others uh, with him. But, oh, my goodness. That is uh, that is very nervy. 87 tickets, and now you have an insurgent push on the west side. Look at this. Uh, Marines have good coverage. Insurgents, however, they don't have any team spawn. You have Marines in the middle, insurgents on the east, and insurgents on the west. But you have an AAV in the middle blocking them for the insurgents. And then uh, Crossroads it has 30 seconds to tell it's going to be capped. Unless PayPal makes an insane play and kills like three or four of them. I'm not sure if the insurgents got this. One Marine goes down. A second Marine goes down. Hold on. 80%. PayPal needs to get his heads up. You take out one or two more. Oh, no, that's going to be it. Marines are going to capture it. Nice try with the attack back, but too little too late. Marines able to get a hundred more tickets. PayPal gets I'm domed by the burst fire. The next point, so stay away from it. God, if you concentrate it right on their half, that'll neutralize one of them. All right, 174 tickets, and all the Marines right now they're averaging about 110 tickets a cap, so still very good. But what insurgents? They're the losing uh, what 200-ish tickets of cap. This actually might end up being an insurgent loot loss on tickets at this rate. Uh, next capture zone is the rectangular prism over by clan. Clan called clan called clan cool. We were killed because we were outside the zone. Raz Grizz takes out I Hate My Life and Maverick. I, I Hate My Life immediately gives up. Because what else would he have done? And wait a second. Hold on a second. Insurgent radio is down again. I'm trying to find out where it is. Oh my god, the Marines came in from behind. Marines with the flank of Rooney. So Marines set up a fob. This is a uh let's if I can see. Yep. Yeah. This is the Marine fob. They set up an attack fob on the north. Very common area to set up an attack. They pushed through. They found a radio in these buildings. This is the main defensive radio for the insurgents. And this might be a huge Marine route now. This might be a quick back-to-back. -back. Uh, 
Bronco Baker, a sphincter, rolling in, and they got RPG right in front of them. Artie going in, and this Artie might soften up some of the infantry, but there is no more fob. Insurgents lose their attack fob. LAV coming in. And this is going to be a quick cap. This is exactly what the Marines needed after those two super grindy points. And you can see pretty ineffective artillery. Um, I do think command should have coordinated this a bit better. Uh, squad five, or was it squad six, knocked out that art or knocked out that hab position before ID. Oh, another IED. This time knocks out the LAV. Can't you tell? This is where the LAV used to live. <laughs> IED. I, it looked like a, a, maybe an ID bike or something. I don't see anything else around there. But ID takes out an LAV, and now you're 127 tickets, about to be 227, though. I'm trying to look at the infantry. I'm going to be honest, guys. It's been a hot minute since I've seen an invasion round on Fallujah where the attackers win, especially over the bridge. This might be the, that game. And it's it's going to be very dependent on how the Marines set up their next hab. So we're going to take... We're going to do a map break real quick, okay? I know you guys are going to be like, Moy, stop looking at the... The game is played on the map, okay? You got to see the map. So last time, Marines attacked on the north side to set up their attack fob, which was perfect. They didn't want to get into the grind of the Western push because that's where they were attacking from, right? They, they were grinding. Insurgents had this on lock. This would have just been very, very bad for the Marines. Lost a lot of tickets. They do the flank rooney They get attack fob. They happen upon another fob or the, the fob radio for the insurgents. Bing, bang, boom. They're on the point saving like 50 tickets at least. Insurgents have one fob right now. I would be very surprised if this radio goes down to a flank because it's so close to main. I wouldn't be surprised if Marines try to set up a fob around here. This is a very common village or maybe in this little buildings. This is very difficult to attack from. It's just an open uh, factory area. And then down south, uh, it's just it's just very open. It's not conducive to infantry fighting. So my bet is you're going to have an infantry push around here and that would be the, I think, most successful way for the insurgents right the now. Or for the uh, no, good good SPG. Spork and uh, Jamsheed knocking out the Mammal Man. Off of, uh, south of Moss there, so um, but if the Marines decide to set up a FOB... Oh, there's Bazaar here. I forgot about Bazaar. If Marines uh, decide to set up a FOB um, that is anywhere you know, in the city in front of Bazaar, I, I think they're just going to slowly grind the tickets. It just it just might be a little too uh too infantry grindy here. 469 tickets for the insurgents, about to be 208 for the Marines. They're sticking to their average 100. Wow, that's actually surprising. Even though the Marines got this one as a freebie, they still lost almost 100 tickets. That's incredible. I don't know where they're losing these tickets. Maybe there's a lot of give-ups right now, but the Marines are just bleeding tickets. PayPal hey, about to run into Faded Leaf, and he takes them out. PayPal hey, with the PPSH. This map and this weapon, amazing combo. Insurgent, Logi, Techie. Needs to be careful. I don't know if they're trying to set up another FOB. They are, oh my goodness, and there's been a combat engineer running for about five minutes. He's been running for five minutes, and he's going to happen upon a Lodgy and a radio. No shot. If he stays up and he stays quiet, he just has 
a freebie here. This is insane. I've seen this guy just walking. Oh, and they just placed a radio right next to him. He takes a shot. One insurgent goes down. Odin, I don't know if they noticed. He might have the best radio kill in the game. Odin and Kizer, they're dropping. Building ammo. Odin, Kizor, no one sees him. The enemy just got on the point. Oh, does he see him? Look, look right. There it is. Odin, the squad leader, he can't build up anything right now. Squad nine, enemy radio to the north is My guy's on it. Odin, trying to creep out. He's be very careful. You can lose your lodgy, your radio, and your tickets. Odin, and he loses it. No shot, Tin Charles, with a squad wipe, lodgy wipe. And if he hears it, which he should hear it, there is a radio right behind him. Radio to the south is accurate as well. My guy found it as well. Yes, he Four did. He's, oh, this is huge. He's using the C4 to pop the, pop the Lodgy and then using his super shovel to finish off the radio. This is just, this is sap, Sapper Gaming right here. Pure combat NG right here. Good loss of 30 tickets, but more importantly, the insurgents needed this position to just bleed out the Marines. And that is so unlucky. I think Odin and these guys, they're, they're going to want to call shenanigans on this. I know why. I, I think if I was in that position, I'd also call shenanigans. Tin Charles, I've been watching him run down this road for 10 straight minutes. Absolutely hilarious that he just happens upon a Lodgy turn in that corner. Oh, he dropped the mine. Radio is on bleed. He, he didn't use the mine. Yeah, instead he, here, Gulf six. Or he didn't use a C4. Instead, he used the mine. And hold on a second. Guam tipped over. Clan, clan, clan. There, there it goes. Laji finally goes down. Guam tipped over. Next to Scob. Don't lose it now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Insurgents. Might pull the Uno reverse card here. C4 on the radio just in case. C4 on the radio just in case. Oh, I love that. That's a 30 second trap. Oh my goodness. Oh, it might work. Oh. Oh, he's going to stop to get himself a bandage real quick. Oh no. The C4 is going to work. Oh, and it's on bleed out! No way! <laughs> what a big brain play! Combat NG just thinking two steps ahead. Are you kidding me? Blown up by AVP. Tin Charles. I, I'm not saying he's won the game for the Marines, but he might have killed the game for the insurgents. That is huge. That is so huge. I love it. I love everything about it. This is why you play squad. Uh, tank is going north oh my now. goodness. Insurgents are going to lose that attack fob in the Can most spectacular... Or defense fob in the most spectacular now? fashion. And... That is just unbelievable. I'm speechless. Bazaar is now the point. And Marines are on the offensive. Marines have the momentum and they have the players. It's going to start being capped here in a second. Bazaar is going to be a huge grind though. Insurgents need a... Oh, hold on, Scar's trying to push in. Insurgents need to push back from the northeast corner of Bazaar. Scar's goes down. And Dex just running with the pistol. He knocks out one. Can he get a second? And he does. I'm 
Don't see the switch. Tank's going to the mine. He's going to release now. Nice. What's the switch on mid mid mid? I'm trying to clip that. I'm trying to clip that. Don't worry. We saw that, bro. Are you mad? That shit was disgusting. Not the there you go. You love to see it. Uh, keys are so. Oh, they might be capping it now, almost. Yeah. The problem is, even after that awesome play in the corner here, there's so many different angles and places the infantry can hide. It's not over yet. There's still a big fight to happen here. Kazer coming in. Suker as well. Clan, clan, clan. So a bunch of infantry pushing in, and they are. Uh, I don't know if the, the Marines are going to be able to hold off this attack. Oh, they're not going to be able to. Good play, but insurgents are just not going to be able to... Or the Marines are not going to be able to sustain it. Look at this, the, the red blob, and hold on a second. Down here, tactical Bukak... God damn it. I, I recognize you, tactical... Oh, anti-tank grenade nearly. Nearly lands on top of him. Full auto, though. Wilson, Barkstep, Feline, and Saucy. All pushing in. And they are clearing out the south side. Huge retake by the insurgents. So insurgents re retaking the south, they're creating that space on the south side. Marines, they still don't have an attack fob that's near enough. It, they're still using the attack one way up north. And hold on a second, what is this? What were they doing? Yeah, squad four, if you come to my building, we can drop Oh right no, here. this is the remnants of an Abrams. I would not have even uh, thought that they're the over the there. The Abrams was near the insurgent main, got tapped by a tandem, and the T-62. That is almost throwing. I have no idea. Like, look at... I, I want you guys to think real quick. Give me one good reason why an Abrams should be over here. The, all the fighting's over there. This is also the main. There's infantry... Enemy infantry could be literally hey, anywhere around here. Two? Just a horrible, yeah, horrible miscalculation. Came up behind us when we were uh, uh, driving block or engaging the tank. Good driving. And Kitty of pa Pathos knocks out that guy. Infantry in a city. But the Marines, That's they the need stuff. to figure... Oh, uh, Kitty no, almost no. falls to her death. Love it. Or... <laughs> Their attention is to the south of Bazaar. They're on us over here on the half. So keep pushing from the north, guys. Okay. So right it's now. all once again on Bazaar. And what's even more bizarre is that the Marines are still being able to push in without a, an actual fob that is nearby. This hab is now overrun on the north side. Marines try to get where they're actually. Hold on a second. Is this. This is a this was a new attack fob for the Marines. Oh no, it's already proxied. Right here, this is a Marine fob. You need to keep this hab up if you're the Marines. You have no more chances. Less or almost less than a hundred tickets. IEDs going off. That went way off east. Hey, one of my guys found an enemy hab. Bubbles the and skunk hunt. They need to try to save this hab, and he might get shots on. Gets one, but there is another insurgent in the hab area. We see Spork. So Spork's gonna see him laying down. No, they run into each other. The hab is still overrun. And now there's three insurgents to one. Medic goes down for the insurgents. And he gets... Oh, he gets PPSH, rather. The PPSH, the Raider classes, are shredding through Marines right now. And 
the radio is not found, but that doesn't matter because you don't have a spawnable point. Wait, wait a second, Bizarre. How are they losing Bizarre? Insurgents, they're just not playing the objective right now. This is a capture area. Insurgents are anywhere but the cap, and Marines still have to run all the way over there. They're running like five blocks away to the capture zone. The insurgents are just now they're throwing 97 tickets to 341. Insurgents are just losing so many tickets as well. Mortar barrage coming in, but it's not going to do much since Bazaar is uh, like inside of a bazaar. Hey, mortar barrage, careful. Oh, the flank. The rooftop flank. Meep. Knocks him out. And this is... I can't believe this. Marines are about to capture Bazaar. Unbelievable. Insurgents need to get onto the actual zone. Tickets, guys. Play smart. Play smart. We just gotta get in that point, man. Exactly. You just need to get into the point yeah, if you're the Marines. That was a T-62 LAV. Oh, T-62 knocks out one infantry. T-62 takes a shot at infantry as well. LAV. Oh, this is a brave or stupid LAV. T-62 can't see him just yet. You can see his turret. I'm surprised they haven't called him out yet. Oh, that one shot might aggro the T-62. If I'm that armor, I, I want to pop this LAV. LAVs are incredibly thin-skinned. You want to be smart when you do it. You, you don't want to just shift W down this main road because there could be plenty of anti-tank nearby. LAV finally deciding maybe he should go back around. Oh, what a shot! Hi, I think he just engined the T-62. And he's going for another one. And right back in that engine block. Might lose his head here to the coax. Whoa, nearly <laughs> took our head off. And another trying to try to thread the needle. Ty goes down to the coax. Can he get the track though? That's main battle tank. Very odd spot. You got all those cables, and I mean, I don't know what we expected. But D62 is gonna limp away. And oh my goodness, it could be Charles again. Charles, the combat engineer, engineer he's still in the area. And now the tank, they're going to repair the track, or not tracks, they're going to repair the engine. Get on and that point, guys. Get on that point. He might have eyes on the crew. Try to, pro try to proxy that hab on Mark. Misses two shots, misses a third. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no! What? <laughs> oh my goodness. I cannot believe what? Okay. I'm okay, that was so funny. You, I'm crying. It was hilarious. <laughs> you see? <laughs> I th <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Holy crap. 69 tickets left. Nice. Oh, it's up there. Sorry, I thought it was further. Down. You don't know what that means? No, 69. Nice. Now you get it. You're trying to stick it. Yeah, no, it's like it's like a Now you get it. 
Now you can get it. <laughs> hey, stay on that cap. <laughs> we just started capping it. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh my goodness. 67 tickets. And you know what? The T62 is going to make it out alive. And Bizarre might actually... Oh my god, I cannot stop live. That is too funny. That is too funny. Um, Bizarre is still hotly contested. Insurgent's gonna lose. Or no, their, uh, their northern half is no longer being proxied. Is that artillery? No, that is a hell cannon. Um, not quite sure where exactly it is. Oh, hell cannon. Odin dropping a hell cannon fire support base. But 59 tickets, and that might be it for the Marines. Uh, it is, it might be on this armor push right here. If you have this armor, support the infantry. You, you just need to make one big push. We're providing pressure on the south side now. Radio's marked accurate, and the map's marked accurate. There you go, that's what you need. That radio, that is an accurate radio mark. I like it. APC leading the way. AV just in case they need some 50 cal up front or the 40 mic. Insurgents are going to lose this position quickly. You can see that nice little shack cannot do anything against the LAV 25. Insurgents on the roof now have to duck. Grenade pops off, one Marine will go down. And a second RPG just misses LAV, and hold on, you got a last stand Alamo. Oh, that was it. That was a trade, and they have cleared the building, and hold on a second. You got a biker dude coming in, and he is bringing PPSH reinforcements. They have dug down the radio now. Insurgents and a mad dash to try to save their position. And he's gonna, oh! No! Oh, oh, he just got tunnel vision. He ran straight for the LAV and this is why you want infantry next to your vehicles. Good support from Tactical Bukat. God, stop making me say your name, man. Just stop doing plays. I can't. RPGs. Trying to stream into the vehicles, and there it is. Oh, and now they have the Hell Cannon base trying to save it. 47 tickets. I think the Marines have Bazaar. If they knock out this radio, look, there's Marines on the northwest side, there's Marines on the southeast side, and it's a slow trickle death of insurgents sandwiched in between them. 257 tickets for the insurgents. To 47 for the Marines and they're gonna watch this radio bleed out right in front of them and it is gonna come down to the last point Marines should be capturing Bazaar in just a second handful need to walk right in oh wait a second Wilson and John I just saw on the map he just erased three different Marines Stay on that cap, guys. We gotta cap it now. if I can see him where are you Oh, Wilson goes down and John, oh, curse of the commentator. He gets flanked. And there it is. Bazaar is now being secured. 47 tickets to 250. Radio is just about on bleed. And this is what it is, it, the Marines are perfect for. Infantry, light armor, clearing out work, just guys. alleyways, out. buildings. The CQB Appreciate power of the Marines is just too good. And radio is down 226 tickets to 46. This is going to be a very, very close game. Either team's game right now is a T62 rolls up. Oh, there you go. AV defensive smokes. He isn't tracked yet, but can he get out of the way? T62 going to try to fire through the smoke or is he going to wait till he gets eyes on? Another. Oh, he's going to. He whoopsie daisied him. AAVP just slowly clambering away. Is he actually going to get away? T62, is he going to chase? T62 is bloodthirsty. 
AAV. Hidden in the smoke and no, he ran into a trailer. AAV had it and just ran right into a trailer, took the wrong turn and now he just stares at his death. Nearly got out and got corralled in the wrong way. The alleys of Fallujah kills another vehicle. Marines are also now being pummeled by RPGs. And now you have the Abrams on the north side. I don't know if they want to do... Hold on a second. Is that tank still accurate? Uh, tank is still on the southern side. I didn't... South, south. Abrams might want to do it. Oh, what is this? There are three marine vehicles. All abandoned. They're trying to save them. There's a repair station nearby. They're all trying to repair the vehicles and not lose them. 24 tickets. 24 tickets. Try to take out the logis so I can uh, go for tank. We're half in bazaar right now. Infantry just surrounding the AAVs. So, what, uh, is this the last point or they have to Logi for the insurgents. Therefore, you got a loud east of you. Nearby, on the this bike could be an IED bike. It needs to be very. Oh, it doesn't matter because look at this good Marine holding his sector, just laying down, nails him with the saw. And 22 tickets, nearly capped. What's the cap status? 80% capped. Don't lose your vehicle. RPG is hitting to the backside of the Abrams. 22 tickets. Another RPG tracks the Abrams. Oh, but they cap it. 121 tickets now to 213. Abrams is now tracked. And he is almost dead to rights in the median here. SPG, I think Techie was trying to flank him. And yep, he goes down. They're shooting you from LAV, my, um, observe squad four. able to keep him up and hold on a second that, insurgents. Right, right I think bus. there's, yeah, right behind the bus. Good comms. 11 foot. 197 tickets to 119. This is going to be a ticket game. I can feel it. One last point. We called it earlier. If the Marines set up a fob so right west, it's going to grind way too many tickets. They on. really you need the to do a nice little flank. Game. But it's the insurgents are also just blowing through their tickets, so it is anybody's game. And hold on, that was a hell cannon shot, just lobbing them. Guam tipped over, trying to get close. Oh, end 51. Hold on a second. He's got the waterlogged football tandem. The big boy tandem round. And he's trying to be patient. Ta oh, tank is up and moving. And I think he's going to regret moving around. He's also going to smoke now. Tandem round from the alleyway. Can he peek out and see him? This is the shot. You need to make it count. Side armor. Come on! Where are you going? He's trying to go for verticality. He's going to miss his chance and the Abrams is gone. Copy, copy, one with very bad hit. And he does hit the AAVP, but that one tandem round is not going to do much to that giant APC. And they're just going to rep it anyway and hold on a second. And then you take it still moving south. Hold on a second. I'm trying to figure out 
who's doing what ied bike i'm guessing ied bike oh and it is and he just goes and hides i'm gonna let the abrams roll right by him and he's gonna go out for it i think it's a one-man ied bike though and you're gonna have marine infantry right behind him and good call infantry have saved this abrams more than they know and an atgm oh my goodness marine atgm with overwatch has also saved the abrams what a fantastic position keeping this entire place on lock Hundred and thirteen tickets to hundred and seventy. Uh there's enemy armor we're in bias and enemy bicycle we're in bias, so it's gonna be hot to the south. So diagonal from us, two blocks yeah, over Abrams, L A V twenty five, two AAVs all around a repair station like a watering hole this t62 has 100 percent knowledge of all of them and he needs to choose his targets very carefully you don't want to just sling around towards a lab 25 when an abrams is right next to it and he's gonna see the peak oh they don't see it just on the other side of the defilade. Oh, be patient, little T-62. Oh, do they not see it? Are they too low? There, oh, they hit the dirt. No, T-62 whiffs it. Abrams is gonna go in panic mode and the T-62 has to back out. Abrams, they're looking the wrong way. Abrams is on fire now. And they're gonna swing around and see it. And they miss their shot, T62, with a perfect ambush. Wait, no, that armor soaks it. And they missed the second one. Abrams has dumped two into the dirt. And they're gonna go down to a perfect flank by the T62. Did he die? Oh, he's dead. Thank you once again, squad. I'm really happy about these explosions. They make it very realistic, and I can understand what's going on. Abrams goes down as the T-62 tries to do a kickflip. T-62... Honestly, right now, Marines, you just... If you're a vehicle, you need to get out of here. You're, you're sub 100 tickets. T62 is going to go in for the kill, but he's going to get stuck into a fence. He got burned. He got burned. There's a marksman here uh, marked on the construction building. In the construction building I am very confused why the Abrams was not repairing. This is a huge misplay by the Abrams. They had 300 build. They had a repair station down south, and they chose not to repair. That was a huge misplay by the Abrams, and that might cost them the game. T62 is... He's going to go off and play World of Tanks for a little bit. So we're back on to our mechanized infantry push here. Hab is overrun for the insurgents on the south side, but insurgents get two Habs of FOB, so it ain't over just yet. Bubbles and Raz Grizz. Oh, never mind. Bubbles got erased by a grenade, and Firecat is right above him. Fuck. Is that tank still on commercial? He went west. Raz trying to do something here, but he is all on his lonesome. 87 tickets to 140. The Marines are losing tickets. But it still feels about a two to one right now. Insurgents, there's a mentality when you play invasion squad as defenders. You're an insurgent. You have like 900 tickets to start. You think you can just keep giving up? 
when you get to about the second when they got to commercial yeah, district fire. north so you need to start thinking off. smarter firecat with a good shot on rasgris but a sweet hagrid might be able to make something out of it here hey, on the south side with your, uh, that are insurgents you need to flip stuff. the switch and stop giving up and then start playing the point. Right. like a normal Start game of squad wait they for your medics revive heal up group up a little bit so, so that way you don't get into crunch time tickets, tickets. uh we just found enemy utility farm here we think that right now oh and hold on a second this is about to explode this is going to be uh the new parking lot for the marines once their artillery is done with it a creeping barrage from the south side. That's the first ranging shot going off. And it is going to go from south to north right in front of us. Oh, and it already knocked out two or three insurgents with that second ranging shot. I just need ammo for the tow. A handful of insurgents also go down to the first real barrage. And it is going to creep on north. And now you have the Marine Humvee and AAV nearby. They're following up. You, know, you can't just have artillery. You need infantry. You need boots on the ground. And they need to be careful. Humvee nearly smacked by the army themselves. MLP Jesus. Knocks out that guy. He goes down to Dark Owl, so infantry not able to get on just yet. But there you go. Infantry are now swarming in. You can see the collection of insurgents. You want to keep them buttoned up and push it in. What a shot. Vadim goes down to a grenade. And another grenade. Oh, they're just stacking bodies right outside the half building. Now you're going to clear it. Judge Joe Brown. I don't know if he got the kill or that was... Fratricide bubbles, it's a, just a funnel of death. Tossing a nade, oh, he bounced it out. Bad nade, bad nade. No, <laughs> major disappointment living up to the name. Huge disappointment. What was almost a perfect assault. Oh no, and they've counter mortar barrage, defensive mortars on the point. Grenades cleared out again. Now Jimmy, I almost said Jimmy Carter, Vinny Carter. Coming on the north side, and now Judge Joe Brown, the Marines finish it off. There's one more left in Vicious with the pistol. Back right corner, he says there is one left. We'll turn off the name so you can see that outline he is bandaging right now. He's going to go in. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he doesn't see him. And he gets blasted. No way. Marines fumble their way to victory with that one. Mortar Barrage is still kicking off, and 58 tickets to 84 tandem round smacks the T-62. It is a 30-ticket game in Invasion. The T-62 sends a round right through the LAV. Is LAV going to get out of it? He is taking a whole bunch of AT. The T-62 is way too much AT than he really should be. LAV now has to get out of Dodge quick. You don't want to lose the LAV. Look at this. Losing a vehicle. The insurgents and now they're just dumping a whole bunch of ammo. T-62 is going to line it up. LAV can't do anything. Catching fire and down it's going to go. Good effort, but oh, RPG misses. T-62 is mopping up the crew with the coax. And he's going to let it cook off the T-62. Insurgents all around and anti-tank grenade finishes it. 40 tickets though to 69. Nice. He faced armor. He's looking your way. Abrams. His side is Abrams coming around the, the side. Right down that road. Yep. T-62 sees him and he actually gets a shot off. T-62, I mean, you can still ammo rack, just hit your shots, and you can have a chance, the T-62. T-62 goes down, Abrams saves it, but hold on! 
Oh no! He's just getting sworn by anti-tank grenades! Anti-tank grenades just... My own they go down! Unbelievable! Are you kidding? They just got sworn by anti-tank grenades! Infantry mopping up the Abrams! Oh my goodness! You hate to see it, but also you kind of really love to see it. Four tickets to 44, and with that, that will seal the Marines' fate. What an absolute game. Insurgents nearly losing out on tickets, and a few careless plays with some vehicles might have made the difference. Three tickets to 42. Insurgents are going to hold on the last cap of this one hour and 30 minute invasion game. Whew. Oh my goodness. Like anti-tank grenades, you rarely get good kills with them and we've gotten some amazing Hold kills spawn. with them in this one. Hold spawns, they say. They're gonna try to do something, but people are gonna start bleeding yeah, out. 37 tickets. If it was a bit closer on the tickets, you might have some give ups. But there you go, 36 to one. Last ticket coming in now. Oh my goodness. 36 to zero, insurgents hold. 524 kills to 325, 153 revives to 102. Insurgents actually had a lot of revives. What an absolute game. One of the best Fallujah rounds I have ever had the privilege of casting. G, G's.